Something else we're looking at you uh, for you this morning is the UK's construction sector, which suffered a surprise downturn last month. And Victoria is out and about today uh, looking at what the future could hold for the industry. Good morning, Victoria. Oh, hello. Good morning. Hello, Charlie. Hello. Uh, yes, this could be perhaps part of the answer. You might recognise this sort of thing from military applications, also from medical as well. It's an exoskeleton, but now it's moving into the commercial world and the construction sector. I've got David here. David, how does this work and how is this going to help me if I'm a construction worker? The main principle is that you get support from the actuator when you raise your arms above head. All right, yeah. And yeah. the idea is to prevent musculoskeletal injury when you're working overhead consistently for a long period of time, which which can cost a lot of money, and okay. we really don't want to be continuing injuring people while okay, we're working. OK, so I've basically got spring-loaded arms. It sounds pretty good. Um, it's all part of different solutions that we've got here at the biggest construction event for the industry. We've got Carolyn here working on alternative forms, but uh, for the moment, we've got the news, travel and weather, where you are.